Guys and gals, it's Sweet Project Cars, a cool trick and affordable way for the do-it-yourselfer and simple ways. We're going to answer a question that we've had for a long time, and that's how do you refurbish a maintenance-free battery? Now, let me get this straight across the board here, that they're all maintenance. You can do it to them. You can do this refurbing and rebuilding and awakening of a dead battery with this method. Now watch real closely. As you have your battery, you see the date on this one is 11 and 20, and we've kept this thing going by using this method. But Julio, tell everybody where all the tools are at. Buscar en el show más de la descripción de video para todas las herramientas. Thank you, Julio Cesar Chavez Rodriguez Jorge Johnson Clint Eastwood. Now under this label, you'll see where they fill it. Now, some will have a slot in it where you can screw it out. That's not a non-maintenance, all right? This is a battery that is non-maintenance. They don't want you monkeying with it because they want you to spend more money to buy another one. We're not gonna do that. Here's all you have to do. All right, now these caps right here will come out. And we keep a bottle of distilled water right here just in case you need it to put in to top these off before you do this process. You'll do the process on this particular battery is a 12 volt battery and you'll do it for five minutes three times with a rest period of 10 minutes in between. Now, all you have to do is take a couple small screwdrivers, go underneath it. I do one on each side and pop it out of there. like that now if you get a battery that doesn't have these caps in it at all then it's not a lead acid battery if you do by chance you can take this whole cap out here and fill it that way now we'll keep this battery going forever that's our that's our motto And see, they figure nobody will ever try to get those out because they put them so flush. wrong -o, we're going to do that. Now, on this being a lawnmower battery, I put a bolt in here for the one clamp to go on. The other one will go right there. Always make sure that you turn your welder off before you remove the cables. And what I like to do is turn the welder off, put the caps back in, and then take the cables off. Real simple, it's really simple, and you're going to save so much money. There's so many people that have saved money doing this process. But on maintenance-free batteries, you can still do this process. They just make it harder for you to get to the acid. Now I'm gonna look in there, and I see this one looks a little low. So we just use a spray bottle. Fill it up like that. I need that bottle to be full so it's easier to do. Take the positive clamp right here, clamp it on there. Negative goes of course on negative. And I will get the camera up there so you can see it and then I'll turn it on. And then what we're using is this welder right here. And I'll just slowly turn the dial up till I get a good boil. And once it starts boiling, then I'll let that go for five minutes. And with a gap in between of 10 minutes, then I'll do it again. 10 minute rest, do it again for five minutes, 10 minute rest and you're done. All right. So we'll turn it on. We'll get up there so you can see it's not bubbling. You can see the fluid down in there. Now I'm gonna turn the thing on. Now I'm going to slowly turn it up. And I just turn this dial right here. And I just get a good boil out of it. I don't have to have it blown out of the top. But this is considered a non-maintenance, no maintenance battery. And again, I want to repeat it. They think just because it's only 50 bucks or so that you'll just buy another one. Most people do. But you need a welder at your house anyhow, so you might as well use it to save yourself some money. 
So we set the timer. We'll let this go five minutes. And you want to do it in a well-ventilated area. Because I can smell the uh, sulfuric acid already. That's a good, good boil. I'll take my headlamp off. Put my hand there battery's not hot at all but it's boiling good like i said five minutes ten minute rest five minutes ten minute rest five minutes three times on the welder hooked up to it all right now say that i let that go five minutes i'm going to shut the welder off i will put the caps back in which i'm not going to do because i want to finish doing this battery it's it's struggling to start the tractor and i'll take the clamps off with the charge the uh, welder off now to get that boiling the way it is right now I have the welder set on the digital readout at about 55 we use this one and we use this one you can start to see the fumes coming out of it let's see if we can Now I'll turn it up higher so you can see what it really does when it starts to really boil. See the fumes coming out of it? Now right now it's at 120. Alright, at 5 minutes we're coming up. It's boiling really good. And the battery starts to get warm. That's what you want. That's why it's 5 minutes. And you see it bubbling? That's what you want right there. It desulfates that battery like nobody's business. And heck, if you can get another 10, 12, 15 years out of it, awesome.